Okay, so we got some rather historic news, Nate, regarding Kelly Klein. So Kelly Klein has been hired as the Denver Broncos for a front office job, which is given her the highest rank ever by a female in NFL history. All right, so first of all, congratulations to her on that. But let me explain to you what she's going to be doing. So she has been hired by the Denver Broncos as an executive director of football operations and a special advisor to general manager George Patton. Um, she is 30 years old. And again, like I said, she is believed to be the highest ranking female scouting executive ever with the NFL. Uh, here is a quote by Patton. He said, and I quote, Kelly is a rising star in the NFL and we're fortunate to add someone of her caliber to the Denver Broncos. Having worked with her for nine years in Minnesota, Kelly has a strong understanding of all aspects of football operations and player evaluation, along with outstanding leadership quality. She will be a tremendous resource with her experience on the pro and college sides, as well as her knowledge of our grading scale and football calendar. Now, again, she has spent a lot of seasons with the Minnesota Vikings. She has spent 10 seasons with Minnesota, where she has most recently served as a manager of player personnel. And she was also a college scout. Uh, she graduated from the University of Michigan. She is a Wisconsin native. And she entered the scouting department as an administration intern in 2013. And she became a scouting assistant in 2014 before being promoted to the team's college scouting coordinator from 2015 to 2018. And as a manager of player personnel and college scouting, uh, Klein scouted the Midwest region. And she was also a liaison between all of site scouts and front office. And her job is scouting and carried operations and responsibilities in Minnesota, where she scheduled and facilitated pre-draft visits. And she also did interviews for the Vikings in annual scouting combines. Um, now, before I pass on to unit, I just want to say that the writer of this article was Courtney Cronin, ESPN staff writer. So I'll start off for you first, Nate. Your thoughts on Kelly Klein having the highest position by a female in NFL history? Uh, well, first of all, um, congratulations to um, Kelly Klein, you know, graduates to the Denver Broncos. I absolutely love to see women in sports. You know, uh, we've talked about it many times, you know, Kim Nagg being hired as a general manager in the Marlins. We talked about that. Um, I'm trying to think. Becky Hammond, who coached um, that uh, one game because Father Pop got ejected, you know, we talked about that. That was very historic. Um uh, we talked about um, just recently Bianca Smith becoming the first African-American woman to be a coach in MLB history. She's, she's within the Boston Red Sox organization, you know. So it's it's just a whole new era. You know, we continue to see women in sports, and I absolutely love it. You know, I love to see women get involved in sports because it just goes to show you, you know, it's not just men in the whole ball sports. Women do, too. And I absolutely love it. Um She's going to be playing a big role for the Denver Broncos. And obviously, you know, the Denver Broncos have been rebuilding for quite some time now, Mario. You know, ever since um they won that Super Bowl and Peyton Manning was on that team, you know, Bob Miller, he's still there, but he didn't play last year due to COVID and whatnot. Um, so the Denver Broncos got a lot of work to do, you know, and I do expect her, you know, to play some part of a role in helping the Denver Broncos, you know, um, uh, get back to what they need to do, what they were doing before. Um, so with that being said, you know, uh, best of luck to Kelly Klein. You know, obviously, she played a big role in Minnesota, um, and that just needs to carry on here in Denver. So I do wish her the best of luck with that. I wish her um, – I wish the Denver Broncos the best of luck, and we'll see what happens, Mario. See, Nate, I have, a, I have a strong belief that George Patton brung her there. And the reason why I say that is because both of them spent a, a big amount of time in Minnesota. Yeah, in Minnesota, yeah. Right, both of them. And Kelly Klein, she absolutely did an amazing job for Minnesota. When you look at when you look at what Minnesota has done with their draftees, and you look at so many guys that they have drafted, even be between 2015 and 2018. Like there's Daniel Hunter. You look at um, you look at like Justin Jefferson, you look at Dalvin Cook, you you know. The Vikings, their best players right now, if you really look at it, Nate, are guys that they drafted. You know, I mean, obviously, with the exception of like Kirk Cousins. But when you look at the guys that they have, like Adam Thielen, Justin Jefferson, these guys started off in Minnesota. And even and you can even look at guys who and you can even look at guys who left Minnesota. You know, it's uh, Stefan Diggs, Xavier Rhodes. These guys started in Minnesota and she's a big part of that. She's been in the scouting department for Minnesota for a very, very long time. And she has done an amazing job because I look at my team and I look at how many guys of pure talent are on that team. I look and I'm thinking to myself, like, their scouting department is a very, very good scouting department. And she has done an amazing job with the Minnesota Vikings in that scouting department. So thank you to her 
for all the work she's done in Minnesota. But you know, when opportunity calls, you know, you have to answer that phone. When they knock on your door, you got to let them in. So opportunity called. She is now working behind George Patton. She is now a special advisor. Not only that, she is the executive director of football operations. And that is a huge role. That is a huge role. And this is going to be definitely a big change for men or for women, because a lot of men, obviously, in the NFL, they own those executive roles. Well, we got one of the first women to do it, Nate. And like you said, women are really taking over sports. You know what I'm saying? They really are, especially men's sports. You look at the NBA and the NFL, they're starting to get women refs. And you even look at like WWE, if you want to go there, they got they got women referees as well. Then you look at like other things, you look at other things as well. You look at other teams and they, they got women in their offices too. It's starting to happen. And I think it's a very good thing for the NFL because there are a lot of very smart and intelligent women. And for example, Kelly Klein is one of them. You know, she's one of them. She knows what it takes to get great players. She, she knows it. She has the knowledge to get great players and to go and to know what makes a good player. Like I said, how many Minnesota Vikings rookies ended up staying with the team or how many Minnesota Vikings were built to become great players in, this, in the NFL? And she is a big part of that. And, you know, I want to thank her and I want to thank George Patton for everything he has done for my team. And I hope they do a great job with the Denver Broncos. You know, obviously I, I look at like former guys who worked for Minnesota and as a Minnesota Vikings fan, I want them to do very, very well. I want to see them have successful careers. That's why when I see guys like Kevin Stefanski, it puts a smile on my face because Kevin Stefanski does a very good job with the Cleveland Browns. George Patton, as a general manager, I hope he is the one to take uh, the Denver Broncos out of whatever stump they are in and take them to a better level. But so with that being said, I really do believe Kelly Klein can definitely help them build a better team. I really do think she is going to be great for this team. I think she is going to be a great special advisor for George Patton. And with that being said, congratulations to her on her historic promotion, and I wish her the best of luck.